V12 Allison aircraft, 1,710 cubic inches. Designed in the mid-1930s, used widely in the 1940s in World War II. This is one of the engines that helped us win World War II. They put these in Spitfire and Mustang fighter aircraft. Spitfire, the British fighter planes. The Mustangs in U.S. Late Bollinger, top guy. Somebody worked on that, baby. And I seen Wayne Longnecker walking around here a while ago. I was getting ready to say that's twice today. You've been rendered speechless. <laughs> I'll be surprised if that is not the longest pull of the weekend. Our longest distance so far is 261. Lane Bol Bollinger just goes 257.74. That's, that's the second longest distance of the weekend. 257.74 moves into number one. Nice, nice pass. Television people will be looking for this replay. He was on a mission when he came off the line. It locked at front end. Floated a little bit, but didn't really touch it. Let's go up the hill. You gotta love it. Gotta love it. 257 in first, 232 in second, and 232.01 in third. It'd be interesting to see if the right hand on the throttle moved at all when he got close to that beach. I don't think he pulled back at all. He went ahead and just climbed it. Uh, he burned it in. <laughs> of course, when the front end goes that high, you lower the draw bar that much. Yeah, nice balance. He touched down a, at least a couple times there. That would be three, and then right up the beach. Nice hook for Lane Bollinger and Top Gun. Well, now you know that TV people are saying, how come this guy can run with two motors and all we've seen is one motor on the other blower motors? Twin Chevys with 871, and they weigh 5,800 pounds. Weight levels the playing field, or the lack thereof of weight can level the playing field. We saw two twin engine mods in the preliminary rounds that did not make it. Kevin Ferking has a birthday today. He pulls against Lane Bollinger in the ITPA, the Illinois Tractor Pullers Association. He knows what he's up against. So how old is he? I don't know that. They didn't give me that information. <laughs> Just had to say happy birthday. Well, on his maiden voyage, he went 241. On Bollinger's maiden run, he went 244. Got to beat 250. I think he got him. I think he got him. Bring the telehandler. <laughs> Bring the telehandler. Wow. If we had a crowd in here right now, they'd be going nuts. Yeah. <laughs> All six of you. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't excite the Texas boys none. They're sitting over and said, oh, there wasn't nothing to that. <laughs> Kevin Ferking, out of Illinois. Happy birthday, sir. You are number one. 261.38 feet. Track fever. Kevin Ferking goes number one.
And that is also the longest pull of the week. And that's pretty obvious. He's the only one who's got the front tires over in the walkway. Yep. Happy birthday, Kevin. This one I'm sure he'll remember for a while. A yeah, long while because he's going to be up on that sand pile for an hour. <laughs> We're liable to have to get the Corps of Engineers out here to figure out how to handle this. Don't do that. We'll have to have meetings and things like that to discuss how we're going to do it, when we're going to do it, how many people we're going to need. There it is in slow motion. He just drops the front end right over the top. Took it to the house. Kevin Ferking, track fever. Keep in mind, keep in mind, there were three tractors, nope, four tractors, out of the 10 in this class running the 24.5 wide tires. Bill Prince out of Wascata, Manitoba, Canada. Just another invader. Farmer, planner, and builder. Has one hobby, tractor pulling. Pit crew consists of Dave and Frank Prince. Allison Aircraft Engine, this tractor, once pulled in the United States, was sold and went to Europe, was sold back and came back to the United yep. States. Come back. So this tractor has pulled in Europe. Has to go 258 to force a pull off. Bill Prince out of Wascata, Manitoba, Canada, just another invader. Can he go as far as he did before, or can he go six hundredths of a foot farther than he did before? Rut row. Oh, doggone it. Gosh, oh, hecky, darn. That little bit of extra RPM on that V12 Allison when he took the load off those rear tires. Two, five, seven, point nine, oh. 504, pardon me. 25750. We told him to put it exactly where he did last night. He came up 4,400. Four tenths of a foot short. 4,400. 4,400 of a foot short. But those little sparks coming out there, I know what an Allison looks like when those little sparks come out. <laughs> Was there before? Yeah, I see him picking up parts and pieces off the sand pile. Kevin Ferking. Now, Bill Brents has another tractor. He's going to hook another Allison tractor he just bought from the Bollingers. So we'll get him back. Here's the replay. Watch the replay right here, right as the back tires unload, as, the, as he pulls the front end up on the sand, all that load comes off the rear tires, they start to freewheel, more engine RPM, and I think that's what done that old 
V12 Allison in. That quick surge of RPM right there. Kaboom. Bill Prince, he ain't done yet. He ain't done yet. 